Hey guys, how's it going? Frankie Slauson here with another great uh, daily summer vlog here on the Frankie Slauson Show. And do you guys realize that we're almost, we're less than two weeks and two days until the, the uh, daily vlogs are almost done? Man, I can't believe it. It's hard to believe that uh, some, a little idea that I had, well, it wasn't really my original idea. It's, it, you know, this idea has been done by many different people. Uh, I think the Shade Tarts kind of started the whole idea with doing daily vlogs every day, but uh, but I I just wanted to do it for the summertime just to see if it could be done. And we've done, you know, uh, you know, as far as new videos, there's been a good select, a good handful, probably say about 15 to maybe 60 new videos that I've done. As far as other stuff that I put up that wasn't so much new, uh, you know, there's probably about 10 or 15 episodes that you know, you know, that were just all, you know not stuff that wasn't with me in it or whatever but that was just fillers those are just fillers for the for the time because whether i was busy or whether some other things were coming up i just didn't have much time you know uh well today uh well actually i was looking at my my video here that i made on saturday that was for sunday so i'm still on track uh i want to thank the guy the people who have subscribed to uh, buff films uh Thanks to you guys, we've, uh, see, they, they were at 55 subscribers when I made the video. And where are they at now? Because I have on my, have them on my thing. Okay, they're at 70 subscribers right now, as you can see, if you can see really well. So, I have brought them, or, well, you guys have brought them, uh, since my last video. Let's see, what's 55 plus 70? Is that 15? Yeah, that's 15. Well, it's not as much as I thought, but, you know, it's better than nothing, I guess, because when I first started watching the videos, they only had, like, 42 subscribers, and I thought that was pretty, you know, and I put them, you know, I started putting them on the, uh, uh my front page, and I, I kind of noticed that people start, you know, I think that was one of the reasons why it got up. So, really, they start, they were at 42 subscribers, and now they're at 70, so I probably brought them a little bit more than, than uh, than 15, probably about 20, maybe about 30 or 40, but, or less, about 35, I don't know, about 35 or 37, or, it's close to that anyway, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to take, take all the credit, but, you know, I just, you know, I, I just started seeing, you know, like, before I put their, their, uh, their, uh, uh, channel on my channel blog and whatnot, I, did, I noticed an increase in subs, and I think that has a lot to do with it, you know, just because, but before that, I I noticed that they were at 42 subs for quite a long time. And I don't understand why, you know. I mean, I, I figured people like this would, would have, a, you know, would, would be good enough. I mean, hell, that one Cobra video was just good enough to be, even though it was copyrighted and everything, it was still good enough to be, you know, where you should have at least got at least 500 subscribers, at least. But uh, I still want people to continue to subscribe. Don't forget, because until they at least get over 100 subscribers, I'm going to put... Until they get about 120 subscribers, at least. Uh, well, you know, not new subscriber, but, you know, at least over 100, about 120 to the max. Anyway. And we're continue to put their link on my videos for the rest of the time. Uh, just so you guys know. Uh, we're not, I mean, we're not partners or nothing like that. I don't know them. They don't know me. But I figure, to, to be nice, because I've seen Shay Carl do this in a lot of his videos. Where a few people that he thought were very good and very entertaining uh, deserve more subscribers than they got. And, well, I only have 1,289 subscribers thus far as of today. But, you know, I thought, well, maybe I could do that too. Maybe, you know, I could help help a brother out or a sister out or a fellow YouTuber out. Because I know, you know, Wet Movies done that for me. Cool News done that for me. Uh, you know, in help of getting me subscribers and all that. So I figured, well, I think I could do that too. So, yeah. So continue to subscribe to these guys. They're really good. Lightyear Productions, that's the name of their company, but it's youtube.com slash bufffilms, and I'll continue to put the link down below. But today is a special day because I'm going to show you guys some of the DVDs, well, pretty much all the DVDs that I got, that I got from Friday from when my friend John and I went to Grand Forks and that had a good time. I didn't get a whole lot like I thought I was going to get, but I got I got a good hit, a good selection. And I'm just going to go through them uh, and... Yeah, <laughs> the first uh, set that I got is uh, Friends: A Complete Season or Season Two, which I'm currently watching right now. 
And I like this because the package is way better than the original box. I found out that uh, it, this year, I don't know if it's because of some anniversary. I think because this year's the 15th anniversary they uh, of Friends, they uh, have re-released uh, some of these DVDs, all the DVD seasons in a, in a different packaging. It's almost like, you know, going to plastic. You know, how, you know, Warner Brothers has done a lot, a lot with other DVDs. Instead of using the snap cases, they, they use the plastic. And it actually looks better, and it's you know more convenient, I think, rather than, than the box. I mean, the stuff is a lot better, you know, organized. I think. I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> you can see that, eh? but anyway, Friends. It, I I have the first season, and have, you know, I was never a Friends fan. I never really watched them when they were on TV. I started watching them because a friend of mine, uh, you know, and his wife at the time, uh, loved loved Friends, and I think they still kind of do. Even though they're not together, uh, this is one of those shows that you know were really big in the '90s, and eventually got even bigger through through the 10 year span that they went. And uh, I got sex season now, so eventually I will all 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 10 seasons. But I'm just starting out. I started about I bought the first season uh, here earlier this year. <coughs> I don't know. I don't remember if I showed that or not on DVD update or not. But but I have it anyway. So that's the sex season. What I found here for five dollars from Target. Because so, some of these are Target releases, some of these are Walmart, and so a couple are Best Buy. Uh, yeah, Tim Conway, Dorf, the Super Fan Collection. This is all features all eight uh, Dorf episodes: Dorf on Golf, Dorf's Golf Bible, Dorf Goes Fishing, Dorf in the First Games of Mount Olympus, Dorf on the Diamond, Dorf Goes Auto Racing, Big Old Fools. And the Legend of the Paddle, the Oldie Hollis story, which kind of features you know all eight. And it's only it's kind of funny why they'd have like a you know why this is a super pack you know why it's you figure there'd be like two or three discs in here, but no, no there isn't. There's only one, and it's and it's and this little packaging is not even a disc holder, which surprises me a lot. But uh, yeah, it is all eight episodes so I don't know how they could fit because it said the the uh, length of time is five hours and five minutes. I don't know. They must have been able to fit all that stuff in one disc. Almost treat it like a Blu-ray, almost except it's not a Blu-ray. It's a DVD. But I thought this was pretty hilarious because I was originally going to buy this on Amazon for like ten dollars and and uh, freaking Target had it for five dollars and I that was so nice. I even bought a copy for a friend who will receive it uh, tomorrow when I go back to work and all that. So I got two copies. Uh, one for myself and one for my friend, because my friend's a big Tim Conway, Tim Conway fan, and he just ordered a, uh, the Carol Burnett show off the TV infomercial, so he's pretty excited to get that, and I'm sure he'll be really excited to get his copy of Dwarf, super fan collection. He, it's not something that he was expecting. You know. All right, moving along here, I got for nine dollars from Walmart the two disc special edition, unrated edition of Superbad. Now, I've never seen Super Bad. It was playing at the theaters, but I worked at the theaters in Thief River here a couple of years back, or back in 2007, uh, so three years ago almost. Hard to believe it's been that long already, but anyway. Uh, but I've never seen it in full. I have hardly ever saw any you know, Judd Ap Apatow movies, which is kind of weird because you figure I would. The only one that I can remember, remember that I've seen in full is the 40-year-old version. Uh, but... Other than that, I've never seen any of these other ones, so I gotta start uh, collecting these. I think, but this was nine dollars, super bad, and I, I don't need to go and spend because I haven't watched it yet. I haven't even opened it. It's still in its packaging. I'm just showing it. Uh, you guys can give me a little bit of review on it. Don't ruin it for me if you've seen it, because I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. I'm sure most of you guys have seen all of Judd Apatow's uh, films, but I haven't. Besides, uh, for your own version, so got that. And because the, I was so intrigued to uh, figure, you know, the new one came out of this version, and I haven't seen the new one. I probably won't for a while because it's so expensive, but uh, wait till it comes down in price. But I got the original Clash of the Titans for $5 at uh, Best Buy in their Best Buy bin. Or not, it wasn't even a bin, it was just on, on display, on a nice uh, display case. Uh, with a bunch of other $5 movies. So I got one other one that I'm going to show you. So I didn't pay $10 for it. I got it for $5. Uh, 